Hi everyone, I'm here with a beauty empties video. This is for the month of May mostly, but also coming into June. So today it's the 11th of June. Um, so yeah, there's been some products that I've got in there up to this point and I just haven't um, done an empties video yet so far. So in here, I've got lots of different bits, mostly for myself, also some bits from the kids and even a couple thrown in for my husband. Um, but I've got skincare, I think some makeup related bits and body, um, even some kind of multivitamin stuff actually. So let's just get stuck in, shall we? Um, where to start? Oh, these are used today. These are the Patchology, um, these are the eye masks. So these are the, they're called Patchology Chill Mode Soothing Cannabis Seed Oil Infused Eye Gels. So just one pair in here. And they were, yeah, they were kind of like jelly patches. When I put them on, I wasn't too, I felt like it was quite stretchy on my skin, but actually they really kind of reacted and the kind of chill effect activated. So I did, did enjoy them. Um, I think you can purchase these, you know, as like a, a pot. I don't know how many you can get in them, you know, probably about 30 or so, but I don't know that I'd, I'd, um, I'd happily use them again, but I quite, I don't really like the ones in the pots overall. I prefer the kind of individual packs, which I know is really not environmentally friendly, but I did actually enjoy these. Initial thoughts, as when I put it on, um, I thought I was going to be disappointed, but actually these were really, really nice. So that's that. Um, some multivits. This came in the, is it a sunshine edit with um, Cult Beauty? Um, these are the Hum Beauty Sots from Within. Here comes the sun, D3, without UV damage, high potency, vitamin D3, um, 30 vegan gels. I hope that shows right around. It doesn't on my camera. Um, so yeah, it just says charge up without sunburn. Here comes the sun is high vitamin D3 that is regarded as superior to D2 and supports the skin, mood, immune system and calcium absorption. So take one a day. So I kind of, I know it sounds silly, but I didn't really understand what these do. And I thought that last time when I got the edit a year ago, and I still feel the same with this one, not really sure, but I got through them. And now I'm actually on and some more tips from Aldi. And they're doing the job. Great. Um, okay, let's get through some just a few kitty bits. Sorry, it's not gonna be too boring. Um, my daughter is getting really into bath bombs and she likes the ones from Home Bargains. She's only three, she's gonna be four in August, and most of them are like, well, this one is three plus, but a lot of them are kind of six plus and stuff, but we still get them. She likes them. This one is the Bliss Bath Bomb, Bliss Bath Bomb, and it has a surprise gem inside. She likes these, they're nothing amazing, but they have one of these jewels inside, and yeah, she likes those, so that's that. Um, these ones are good actually, again from Home Bargains. These are six plus, but these are the called the Surprise Fizzer, and they've got surprise jewellery inside, and if you've got kids, I would recommend these if you've got Home Bargains near you, they're, they're good, they're decent. Um, Oh, another bath bomb. <clears throat> She's also had these before and does like them. This is the Dino Egg Fizzer, again from Home Bargains. This is six plus and it's got three to collect for a fizz-tastic bath time. And there's just one of these kind of little jelly kind of dinosaurs. So they don't last five minutes, to be honest, but she likes them. Um, and they're about a pound a pop, aren't they? So yeah, that's that. Um, We've got the As The Little Angels Vapor Bath for a soothing scent soak. This took us like ages to get through, but they're good and I would purchase one of them again. I think they're especially good if your kid um, has a cold. You know, they're really good to help with their breathing. Um, just going back to multi bits, I'll just see here. This is what I was using. I've run out of these. This is the Pregnacare breastfeeding tablets. And I don't know that I felt, I felt like I needed more. I mean, I guess don't all mums, um, you're constantly knackered to be honest. So this says to help, you know, with um, development and brain and eyes and breastfed infants. Um, but what it did for me, I didn't feel like it did enough or not what I needed. Um, just to quickly show you what I'm using now. And I wasn't really sure, cause I guess, you know, I'm way into my breastfeeding journey now. 
Well, I just thought, sod it, if this can give me any energy at all, I'll get this. This was the new mum care, daily vitamins, energy and vitality. I for sure need that. So we'll see how I get on with those. Um, right, uh, my husband, a couple of bits from him. Let's get the boring bits out of the way, shall we? This is the L'Oreal Men Expert XL size, 300 mils, stress resistant. Intense relaxing vine extract shower. Gosh, there's lots on there. 100% crafted for relaxation, body, face, and hair. Um, 300 mils. So I got him this as a stocking filler at Christmas, and he said it was. Um, oh, I can't even remember. I just had a conversation with him a few minutes ago and said, I'm just about to do an empties video. What did you think of this? Um, he said it was tingly, which I said um, dodgy. Um, but he said it was, yeah, refreshing. It says it's a fresh, woody, fra fruity fragrance. Yeah, and it's typical kind of man's, like, I don't know, you know, it is a man's scent. I don't know how to describe it. I'm probably should describe the scents, aren't I? Sorry. Um, and this is a three in one Lynx Hydrate Mate Instant Hydration with Birch Extract and Sea Minerals. I think I got. That smells really nice, actually. That's not particularly manly. But nice and refreshing, you know, I like that. Um, I think I got this for him as a stocking filler as well, but I'm not definite. But anything like this, I think he would have got as like a Christmas stocking filler. Um, and he would generally just pick up anything that's, you know, cheap and cheerful. I'm going to get this out of the way as well, because I don't want it to make too much mess. This is a Real Techniques. It's filthy. It's disgusting. Um, I think it's a buffer brush. This plastic bit has got all sticky. And so he, the, the brush itself is still absolutely fine. I even tried to see if I could I just take this off. I don't think I can. But this is so sticky. So when you hold it, your hands, even now, it's like, oh, why did I just do that? So it's a shame because this is still really decent and fine. But the actual handle is really sticky and horrible. So that, no. Oh, I wish I hadn't done that. That's just, ugh, not nice. Um, oh, that's so much. <clears throat> so... Some more bits that I'd actually got for my daughter. This is um, from Soaps for Little Suds. That's a bubble bar. And this was a bath bomb, Nessie bath bomb. Um, so yeah, the, I saw this um, brand, it's, you know, independent um, business, a uh, woman making them herself. And I guess it's like, a, you know, an, a small person, individual business like lush that's what it's kind of caught my eye um however actually they're still expensive so i think there's a lot of hype about her hair care and um hair products for um curly haired people or kids and my daughter less so now she's still got curly hair but it's definitely loosening the waves um so I, you know, was intrigued because of that. But then I saw the bubble bars and bath bombs and loved them myself. But so does my daughter. So I picked some up, but they were still very expensive. And I have to say, what it's taught me is that I prefer the Lush ones, if I'm completely honest. Um, and also, it's like they come in the plastic, which wasn't so great. And I feel like they sweated in it. But we've still got two more. Because of the postage, I did stock up. So she's still got two more, I think, of those. This was a Nessie bath bomb. This was nice, but it was massive. So we ended up breaking it up there. Um, so yeah, that's that. L'Occitane. This must have been from when I had the um, advent calendar. This is the L'Occitane soap with verbena leaves. I've got a tiny bit left in my office toilet, actually. And it's really nice. I love L'Occitane. It has got like exfoliating bits in it, which... I prefer it without the exfoliation, um, but still, yeah, really nice, love L'Occitane. Um, some other hand wash bits are from Bath and Body Up Works. Um, so this one I know that we bought when we were in Dubai. This is the White Barn Rosemary Tangerine Gentle Foaming Hand Wash. Um, really lovely. I won't get it too close because it's looking pretty disgusting now um but yeah that's that one and now next stocks um bath and body Works products although expensive in um my space and k haul which i've just uploaded i was talking about um 
hand washes, bougie hand washes, it's been expensive, but also really, I like hand washes, but you kind of think, is it worth it? So in next, I think, although they do three for two, I think their hand wash is around like seven pounds 50, which is a lot when you then think just for a hand wash and how much we wash our hands, you could buy like a cheap one, say like Imperial Levo is for a pound. And you know, it's no frills, but it does the job, doesn't it? So anyway, I like getting them, but it's the kind of thing that I think, oh, shall we be spending this much money when you get for it so quickly? But I like it in my office. So this is the White Barn White Coconut Caramel Gentle Foam and Hand Soap. Um, so it's really lovely packaging, isn't it? Really nice. And it went really lovely in my office, um, the colours of it. So it sounds unusual, I guess, when it's a green kind of colour. But uh, yeah, it really went nicely. So I was very happy with that. And I would repurchase. I haven't seen, I don't think they have it in stock now. So that's a shame, but it was really nice and a lovely, um, you'd really kind of get that mix of more caramel than the coconut, but yeah, lovely, really lovely hand washes. Uh, we got some from TK Maxx, they're the ones that we're using at the moment. Then, oh gosh, it just, yeah, so I just looked at all the lovely bits I've got. Oh, another thing for my daughter. This was also a Home Bargains um, bath fizzer. This was vanilla scented bath fizzer. It was a cupcake. And um, at Easter, we had our son baptised and some of her friends came along and we did little Easter bags for them. And we did put a little Easter cupcake for the girls. Um, yeah, so that was one of the things we put in these Easter little packs. Okay, where to next? Let's get through some body bits, shall we? Got some body lotions. Actually, yeah, I've got lots of body lotions. Okay, this is Soap and Glory. They're the limited edition at um, December. I got it actually in January. I stocked up on their gift sets. Um, and I really wanted to try this uh, Christmas edition. So this is the Jingle Blooms Body Butter, White Florals and Tonka, 200 mils. It's such a strong scent. It's nice, but it's heavy, you know, really kind of that sweet perfume type smell. And I've got, um, I've got a, a smaller size and also definitely at least one full size. And I think I will wait until the cooler months because this feels too heavy a scent to um, use in summer. Although I do have one of the scrubs of this in um, my shower and I'll try and get that used up. But yeah, I haven't used Soap and Glory for a while so it was nice to get, you know, try them again. This is the Naughty 97% Natural The Booster Skin Tightening Body Moisturiser with grape seed oil and caffeine, 250 mils. This is cruelty fee free, vegan friendly, no paraben sulfates or silicone and silicones. And this I picked up from Latest and Beauty and was lovely, really, really nice. Would happily pick up again or, you know, I'd, I like trying different things. That's the thing, but it is something that I would, um, you know, I'd pick up other stuff in the brand um, and would happily use this again. Um, yeah, so it's, it's light, it wasn't too heavy, so lovely. And... What's the smell? Just like a moisturiser smell. Don't know how to describe that, but yeah, it was nice. It was decent. Um, another thing from um, Latest in Beauty, actually, and that went with, got these two together. So there was the uh, body wash that I used in the shower and then the body butter. This was from Zen Spa. So just to say the relaxing body wash, it was with organic lavender and essential oils of bergamot, patchouli and geranium, 50 mils. It was very thin consistency, but it was nice and I did like using it at night time. So, you know, I, I wouldn't, yeah, rule it out, picking it up from Latest Beauty, I wouldn't go out of my way to pick it up. This is Sensepa, I don't know if I said that. However, the body butter was really quite thick. And also when you, when you got it out of the tube, it was also quite dry. So it would like, when it was like, how do you describe it? Like a little worm of body butter. It would easily like kind of fall off once you put it onto your body. 
you know that's what I would do rather than put it into my hands um and it didn't really you know it took a lot to work in it wasn't didn't easily soak in so I wouldn't recommend that I wouldn't pick it up again um but you know the scents of both of those were lovely and I did enjoy the, the shower gel although it was quite thin liquidy and the last body butter I believe that I've got in here is by Grown Alchemist and this is the body cream in mandarin rosemary leaf mandarin Oh, sorry, I was just reading that. I think it's in French. Yes, yeah, so a mandarin and rosemary leaf. And this is 120 mils. And this I picked up in Lotus and Beauty as one. Of, uh, sorry, not Lotus and Beauty, Fab Fit Fun, when I was subscribed as one of their picks. I'm no longer subscribed. Um, and this was nice. It I got for it very quickly. Um, it had quite a medicinal smell, actually. But yeah, it was a decent moisturiser. It was nice and I really like that colour. You're very pretty, beautiful, kind of minty green. Uh, another thing actually that I purchased, this is skincare, but this is um from FabFitFun. Don't know how you pronounce it. T Terry Mir. <laughs> I don't know, Terry Mir, I'm not sure. It's a beautiful packaging, and this was a hyaluronic acid. Um, 50 ml combination to oily skin hyaluronic acid hydration boost serum for sensitive skin I used to use this in the morning it's cruelty free it's vegan I have to admit I was disappointed it had um, oh can you just see that there oh you kidding me now there's more like coming out I literally took this top off as well and squirted it all out. Let's put that in my hands now, shall I? Um, can you see that? Yeah. So it was thin, actually. It reminds me of the consistency was nice. But what I didn't realise, because it said it was hyaluronic acid, it wasn't until I looked at the ingredients that I realised it has vitamin C in it as well. And you know when vitamin C turns... I didn't really like I didn't like that smell, that's what I could smell, so it wasn't a kind of joy to use, I have to be honest. Um yeah, it does actually say in the write-up to enhance this formula, multitasking vitamin C concentrate supports healthy collagen production and cellular renewal, smoothing up fine lines and breaking up dark spots to reduce all the signs of premature aging. Rounding out this smart formula, organic green tea supplies the skin with antioxidant support. Beautiful packaging. Unfortunately, the product did not live up to anything for me. You know, that consistency was nice, soaks in well. But it's that, yeah, still loads coming out now. Not loads, but, you know, more. Um, the vitamin C, I could smell it and I didn't like the smell of it. To me, it just smelled like it had turned and, you know, I'd used it in fine time. So... Yeah, I I definitely wouldn't purchase that again. I'm not with Fabfit Farm, so I don't think I'd be able to easily get this anyway. I do have a moisturiser from this brand, which is, uh, I think it's like a rose uh, face moisturiser. And also I've got a eye cream, I believe, um, waiting to, to use them up. But yeah, this was not a great first introduction to this brand for me, unfortunately, but packaging, beautiful, look at it. Yes. Um, Okay, some other, let's so I keep the skincare bits now. So I'm all over the place, aren't I? But it's because I'm just picking out as we go. Um, yeah. Oskia. Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. Illuminating Vitamin Melting Cleanser with Vitamins A, C and E, Omega-6, Pumpkin Enzymes, Chamomile and Rose. This smells like Turkish Delight. Really lovely. Um, this is 200 mils. I got this from Caroline Hyron's website. Um, and it took forever to use up, which is no bad thing. Beautiful packaging as well. Really cool to get one of the limited editions um, with Caroline Hyron's name on it. But it's also a really, really nice uh, product. So I would recommend... And it does come up in, I think, like, kind of gift with purchases every now and then. And actually, Latest and Beauty do have this too coming up. Um, I've seen it, I think, a couple of times. 
I've got one here, 35 mil. I think this must have been their hero products at one point. Um, on Mason Beauty, so I've picked that up and I will enjoy that when I get around to using that. So I use that as a first cleanse, well, you know, like a morning cleanse, um, and put it on and then use a face cloth to get that off. Um, I picked this up from a Feel Unique's Pick and Mix um, sample kit um, because it was 50 mils and I thought that's great and I wanted to try it. Hadn't tried anything from the brand at that point. This is the CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser for normal to dry skin with free essential ceramides, amino acids and hyaluronic acid. Cheap and cheerful, really nice and would recommend. I use this as a, um, yeah, I think I use this as a first cleanse um, or I'd use it as a second cleanse. I wouldn't use it to take my makeup off, but it was really nice, lovely. This is just a small, um, 5ml size of Shiseido clarifying cleansing foam also really nice but you know it's tiny isn't it so I didn't kind of get to use enough of it that I thought oh yeah I'm going to go and buy it full size but it was decent it was nice and I think I'm yeah I'd happily use it again another thing from CeraVe is the reparative high hand cream for extremely dry rough hands alleviates dryness and helps restore the protective skin barrier with free essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid fragrance free 50 ml i think i got this in an amazon um, advent calendar my husband bought me for christmas so i got that filled up pretty quickly didn't sink in particularly well but it was also quite dry and actually so it was quite a thick kind of heavy but actually it was quite yeah dry in, in texture from what i remember um yeah pleasant fine nice but i wouldn't um bother to repurchase it um oh this is um is it evolve it or if, if, i don't know how to pronounce this e evolu evolu hydrating serum this was 10 mils i think this came in a glossy box i think or was it um I'm not subscribed to the glossy box anymore. Was it a rocker box? I'm not sure. Maybe a rocker box. This was really lovely, really kind of liquidy, runny hyaluronic acid. Um, I don't think they're easy to purchase. I think people sell these on eBay, so I wouldn't go out my way. I wouldn't buy it on eBay to to use it. But I did look it up just to see where is it. You know, couldn't see where you get it from. I was intrigued. Um, so I did enjoy it was nice to use but it's not easy accessible here in the UK as far as I'm aware um, what other bits? got some more skincare let's, let's do the skincare bit shall we sorry if I'm noisy I do love empties so please do like and subscribe if you've got this far These are my skincare bits left. <clears throat> so a couple more eye patches actually. This is the Talica eye patch. Um, this is one, but you could reuse them three times. I think these were from Space and K, and I think you know gift for purchase. Um, these were really nice. I had them. I'm sure they'd probably gone past their best, but they're still really nice to use. And would like you know did like using those. These ones are by Beauty Pro and they're the retinol under eye patch with retinol, vitamin C and aloe. It says a single use mask, you put them on for 20 minutes. I got these from Latest and Beauty and was I do like Beauty Pro from what I've tried of them. So when I saw these I was really pleased to pick them up. However, they're quite intense and I didn't think that I particularly noticed anything. Um, but yeah, it was quite full on, I have to say. I think they were, yeah, you know, I don't know how to describe it, but from what I remember, yeah, it felt quite intense, too much for me, um, in not a great way. So that took away the kind of relaxing qualities of it. So that was a shame. So yeah, I wouldn't pick them up again. And what I remember now actually is it, with the intensity of it, 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 it was giving me a headache having them under my eyes. Um, for the 20 minutes and yeah I didn't feel that I noticed a particular difference afterwards so 
unfortunately that's a no from me um a toner this is a sicily 30 mils floral toning lotion alcohol free for dry and sensitive skin yes very floral quite granny floral or just very flowery anyway um you know nice lovely but i wouldn't pay sicily prices for this toner i sure I've got another one or I've definitely used another one so maybe this was the last one I had actually so I was happy to use it and would happily use it again but I wouldn't pay Sicily prices for this tone I didn't think it was anything amazing um oh gosh I won't even show the package it looks horrific um this I got from a bundle actually I think with this and a mask which I haven't used yet from FabFitFun this is the Milk Makeup Watermelon Brighten Serum. Solid serum brightens, hydrates and smooths for more in even skin tone and texture. What size were you? I, I don't know. Um, 0.22 ounces, 6.25 grams. Um, the concept of this, you know, you think, oh yeah, that sounds great. Um, but no, sticky. Nasty, wouldn't recommend, ended up falling out. Don't bother with being intrigued, don't bother with it, is all I can say. Neod 30 mils Repigment Multi Pathway Brightening System. I think I got this in a Caroline Hyron's bundle. So it's you know supposed to be really good for um, pigmentation and sunspots. I don't know if you can see, but I do. I mean, lots of my freckles are coming out now, but I do have some spots following pregnancy as well. Um, this I would find too much use would feel quite intense actually. So I got through it, and uh, yeah, no, it's completely gone. Once, uh, well, yeah, I think it's something I'd have to really use consistently to you know see results, and the results weren't that great, and it wasn't that enjoyable for me. So I'd use it again, but I wouldn't repurchase it. And now we have some moisturizers. This is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream with Time Release Hydro Patches, Moisturizers and Nourishes, seven mils. So packaging is lovely. Really, really nice, isn't it? Small. Um, I've definitely got a big one. I think I've got 15 mils, and I might even have another seven mils. This was the first time I've tried this, I think. Completely all used up. Lovely rose scent, if you like rose. Um, it was quite like a gel-like cream, but quite thick, actually. Um, and yes, I remember when I tried it, you know, it was nice, but I wasn't blown away by it. Um, so, you know, I've, I've got a bigger size, I need to try again and see, but wasn't one that I was like, wow, I'm so pleased I found this because I really want to repurchase it. So maybe I was a little bit disappointed from that first experience. I don't know. Um, however, one that I really, really did like, and I need to remember how much I liked it, whenever I eventually get through all the hoarding of face creams I've got, is this Emma Hardy Midas Touch Revitalizing Cream. Deeply hydrates and moisturizes, lifts and smooths, improves firmness and elasticity. 15 mils. This was really, really lovely. Like, highly recommend this. You know, only I only obviously had a small... Oh, little, oh what is with this product? More's coming out. Um, can you see that? Sorry. Really, really lovely. You know, moisturising but lightweight. Yeah, so nice this was. Really, really lovely. It was a joy to use. Um, I would highly recommend that and yeah I must have got that with a gift with purchase but I can't remember but um, I was pleasantly surprised actually um, I was about to say that's the best product I've tried from Emma Hardy but I do also like their expensive it's like £40 for their face um, you know that kind of toner spray refresh spray but this is yeah, really, really lovely. I need to note to self, note to Nicola, 
Emma Hardy Midas Touch Revitalizing Cream, really great. Um, then another face cream that I've had before is the Doctor Who Skirt Revitalizing Day Cream. I have bought this myself before. Um, this I picked it up off Latest and Beauty and it is nice. Initially when I was using it, I was using more than one pump and then quickly realised actually one pump is fine. Um, crappy packaging though where you can see all of the writing rubs off and then kind of flakes in your hands, so that wasn't great. Also, Latest and Beauty, it was amazing that you could pick this up there, but the, um, I can't remember when I picked it up, but not that long ago, and the expiry date was October 2022, so that kind of annoys me actually, um, with Latest and Beauty. But, yeah, there's a tiny bit in there that I couldn't get, I'd literally have, have done that you know, to try and get everything out. Um, but yeah, that's lovely. And as I say, I have purchased that before. Um, and I don't remember having that issue with the um, with the writing on it. I don't know. But yeah, it's nice. That's a nice brand. Um, something else I got in one of the Caroline Hirons um, skincare bundles is this Zellens Emulsion D Fortifying Moisturiser. Um, in 50 mils. This was quite a weird uh, texture and consistency. It was quite um, like bouncy, almost that like kind of jelly feeling. So I don't know why I'm doing that, I'm trying to kind of, yeah, remember what it was like. Um, and it's quite thick, so it was also was quite heavy. Um, had a heavy feel, I guess, although it was quite a light kind of bouncy texture. That's the word I was looking for, bouncy. Um, and these, I think, are about £85. Pounds. There's no way that I would buy this one for that price. Um, just, you know, it was, it was okay, but it was certainly... I was underwhelmed by it. Yeah, I don't remember that it had... I think the smell was almost like a kind of plasticky smell as well. And only six months um, can keep this from opening. And again, I, I use this well in time. Um, so I had high hopes for the Zellens Emulsion D and actually I was quite disappointed. But you can't have it all, can you? <laughs> right, so now we're on to more body care bits actually. Don't want to bore you with um, wild deodorant. The It's 100% compostable um, and you get, you know, the... You, you buy the what's it called you know the the, the canister that you use for the the wrong deodorant and then you can get these um uh refills that's what i'm looking for refill deodorants this was pina colada um i find it so difficult to, and i don't so i don't know if i have wrecked the canister or what does anyone else have that problem but i really struggle to um once they're empty and I have to change them, put the new one in, I really struggle to do it. So I have to ask my, my husband to, and he struggles as well. So I don't know wh why that is. Does everyone have that experience or, or not? But it really puts me off it, and I feel quite annoyed because I think the first time it was fine, but the second time after that, and I think this is, it must be the third one, um, it's really, really difficult to change it and put the refills in. So I think it must be now 40, but it's... You know, it's, it's okay, it's fine, but the actual ease of use um, is, has really, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sold um, by the deodorant. I think there's been a lot of hype on, on YouTube, which I bought into. Um, one, hair care. It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. Um, I believe I might have got this from Latent Beauty. This is great, detangle, nice fruity smell as well. Um, I have got another one of these, I think, unless this was the last one I used up, but yeah, these are great. Um, I think they're from, one of the last ones I've got are from Latest and Beauty, I think. Um, some bits for the bath. Something else my daughter used, this was the Pink Grapefruit Bath Bubble, the body shop. I got these in a set with one of the little bath puff things um, for Christmas for my daughter and these were really good actually really really good I don't think she appreciates them as much as I would 
Um, but yeah, they're they're really really nice. Um, I don't have a body shop near me anymore, so it would be online if I buy anything. But uh, yes, there we go. Uh, it says it's recycling, so I'm surprised actually. I wouldn't have thought this packaging would be recycling, but it is. Um, this I got. This is a bath soak by Skin and Tonic. It's called Slow Down Bath Soak, 100 grams. I think I got two baths in it, maybe three, but I think probably two. Um, with cedarwood, eucalyptus, and CBD. Um, oh, very strong. That really kind of, wow, the eucalyptus. See, that smells now a lot more um, awakening than I remember it. Um, I, I would, you know, I, I enjoyed it, it was fine. It's quite small, isn't it, really, for a bath product. Um, but yeah, I didn't remember kind of amazing experiences of using it in the bath. Um, but yeah, I was happy to use that up and get that out of my collection. Um, a body scrub, this is by The Sanctuary, 50 mils. Pleasant, fine, nice, everyone loves a bit of Sanctuary, don't we? Another kind of thing that gets bought for you by as gifts or, you know, buy for other people at Christmas time. Yeah, nice. Enjoyed using that. Um, this I also got from a rocker box and it's Sussex Sandra, who I watch. She um, picked this up. Maybe it was rocker box or wherever she first used it and she loved it and she contacted the brand trying to you know buy it from them or find out where to buy it and she didn't have a kind of great experience it wasn't easy for her to do it um but yeah she really liked it i did enjoy it um here's the thing i enjoyed it first thing i did enjoy it quite nice so it's called what's in it for me aloe i don't know if that's the brand name but it's aloe vera witch hazel and grapefruit extract to cleanse along with peppermint and rosemary oil to invigorate the skin and body body cleanser totally selfish indulgent in love with yourself products so i don't actually know what the brand is out of all of that but anyway no quite quirky cool packaging i think the first time or second time i used it i dropped it in the shower and the um, top of the lid broke off into there so then it made the hole really really small and so you could get it out but i know it sounds silly it changed the experience of using this for me um, and even kind of, um, it will sound really silly what I'm saying, but the, uh, I guess the kind of scent throw, um, but yeah, the grapefruit part of it is, yeah, really, you know, that's what I smell from it, the grapefruit and I guess with the witch hazel really comes through. So yeah, it was nice, I'd happily use it again, but wouldn't go mad to, to buy it. Um, would pick it up if I saw it in Tesco's or something, but it doesn't look like it's easily available. Um, then some one hair thing. I've almost finished that up the shampoo. This is, um, but in a bathroom that I don't use that often. This is the Body Shop Banana Truly Nourishing Conditioner for normal to dry hair, 250ml. This was very nostalgic, so my mum had bought me this. And my this is quite annoying though. There's that bit there you just can't get it out. It's not that much, is it? But it feels like if you could actually, you know, get it out, you could, you know, get a use a bit more. But yeah, it's coming down now. But yeah, um, my husband started using some of my daughter's hair, <laughs> so she was enjoying it. But I'd been using it up to that point. But that's probably why I think there's still the shampoo is still there. Yeah, so that it's quite thick. So then that just gets stuck. It's hard to get that last bit out. I think it's a shape of a bottle. But yeah, this feels really nostalgic to me of my teens picking this up. It's like a real treat. Um, so yeah, it was nice to have it. My mum got it for me, so it was really sweet, actually. Um, a couple of Elemis uh, body, hand and body lotions. I use them as a body lotion. These are Revitalize Me. And I got these when we went to Dubai. These are both 30 mils. And I was just trying to get through empties. I think like everyone else, picked loads of um, 
stocked up loads of uh, small minis through COVID and, you know, then I've just started trying to get through them in that time. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you think, great, because it's enemies, but actually, smell just seemed like a, you know, kind of cheap hotel products, if I'm honest. Um, I've got some bath and shower gels left, and I think some conditioners, which I don't think I'll be using on my hair, but we'll see. Maybe just before I'm going to get it cut and sorted, I'll get through them, but not feeling the drive to. And then the last few things I have, wow, 40 minutes. I really hope someone actually sees it through to the end of this video with me. These are the Molten Brown. So I've got three, look at the cute little sizes. So we've got big one, middle size, and then the mini. So the big size, I got this as a Christmas present from my mother-in-law who loves Molten Brown, buys it all the time on QVC. My favourite is the, is it, um, oh, the pink pepper scent and I also love the, I think it's the Rosa Absolute scent and I think you can, that's a QVC exclusive which I tried at my mother-in-law's house and she'd got me it was like a bath bauble of it one year, um, which I didn't use that long ago, but actually it's really, really lovely, so those are my favourite. This one is Jasmine and Sun Rose Bath and Shower Gel. Um, it says London via the Nile Delta, an Egyptian landscape captured in late summer's blush and dusk. Royal jasmine blooms painted as tiny stars in a sea of fields. Faraway rose sands rise and fall like... Dynasties, dynasties, with a single brush stroke. Begull your sense with a, with a del take. I don't know if, what that is, sorry. Masterpiece. Anyway, the fragrance, that's what we're interested in. Top notes of raspberry, bergamot, and peach. A heart of jasmine. Um, osmanthus and rose. A base of lab, labdanum, patchouli, and musk. Poised symphonic captivating I'm not sure about that so for me this smelled very granny I'm sorry itself smelled very granny granny floral perfumey with kind of a hint of granny yeah just granny vibes I wouldn't purchase this yeah I think it grew on me as I went on, but I just, yeah, this, you know, considering these are pretty expensive, uh, yeah, that were not for me. And it's straight, it's really interesting, isn't it? Because other people obviously love that scent, but no, not me. Um, this one, I think I got this from Nathan Beauty. This was Molten Brown Heavenly Ginger Lily Bath and Shower Gel. This grew on me. Um... The lily, you know, I think is, well, it's ginger lily, isn't it? But the kind of lily qualities of it is what I'd really enjoy rather than, I'd say, the ginger. So the more I used it, the more I the more it grew on me. So I don't think I'd pick up a full size, but if I was getting, like, I think, you know, when you go into the stores, there's one near me in Windsor. If you picked up, you know, if you had to choose between six or something, maybe it might fall into the kind of latter options for me um and yeah I'd happily use it again but it was it's not a favorite but I like the kind of lily scent to it and then this is another favorite for a lot of people this is the ylang ylang um it's a very sweet heavy scent quite musky too and it's okay but again not a favorite for me but it really is for a lot of other people but I was happy to use that and get that out of my collection this I'd actually got in a hotel when I went for my Hindu um, and took that back with me. Um, I can't think the the brand of hotels now, but anyway, a lovely hotel and bath. So that was kind of, you know, it's funny, isn't it? The kind of associations you make to memories and products. Um, so this one was 30 mils, this one was 100 mils. And then this one was 300 mils. So that is it, everyone. 44 minutes, almost 45 minutes. And I finished my empties. 
So I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, please do like and subscribe. I've got other empties, beauty empty videos if you'd like to take a look. And I'll see you again soon next time for another video. Bye. Take care, everyone.